sweeties thank you all so much for subscribing to my backup channel i am so grateful welcome to simnaya if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart can this smash the subscribe button turn on the notification so you get notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all and i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you for always coming back to watch my videos you all are super awesome so today i will be I don't know how to talk about this. I don't know how to react to this because like, you know, this is something that is so sad, right? And um, and people are like stitching to it, tagging and all that. They're and kind of trying to create voice for this boy because I mean, the injustice is something I do not even know where and how to start talking. And um, you know what just stay glued to the screen let me roll the clip then we'll come back to talk about it let me know what you all think in the comment section let me roll the clip what i just witnessed was pure evil what i just witnessed was anything but fucking justice elmore county judge sibley reynolds just sentenced lakeith smith to 30 years officer renfro the one who killed adante washington is charged with nothing he was just doing his job Lakeith Smith, who was the youngest of the co-defendants, the least culpable of the co-defendants. Lakeith Smith, who did not attack anyone. Lakeith Smith, who did not shoot anyone. Lakeith Smith, who was 15 years old. Lakeith Smith, who since being incarcerated in the highest level maximum security prison in Alabama, has been a model prisoner. He's obtained his GED. He's participating in programs. He's receiving therapy and counseling. Everyone at the prison and everyone outside the prison that interacts with Lakeith says the same thing, that he is an upstanding human being who deserves to come home, time served for the breaking and entering the actual crime he committed and be with his family. It was heart wrenching sitting in that courtroom today, watching that judge sentence him to 30 years in front of his mother, in front of his grandparents, in front of the rest of his family and his community. His original 65 year sentence was ruled unconstitutional. And today was a resentencing where he could have been sent home time served. And the family had hope that CJ Robinson, the district attorney, who was back then the prosecutor on the original case that showed up today at the resentencing, wasn't going to object to what the defense was offering because he agreed that Lakeith's attorney at the original trial did not represent him properly. The district attorney agrees with that, but yet he stood in that courtroom today and disagreed with the defense's recommendation of time served. And get this, the sentence that the judge did give Lakeith was higher than what the state recommended. Lakeith Smith is now on a 30 year sentence, mostly in part because of felony murder. This is fucking gross. If you call that justice in this country, you can fucking keep it. The gloves are coming off. My goal going forward will be to make Lakeith Smith's name a household name. You will know his story. You will know his name. There will be a call to action. So stand by. His mother and whole family is right outside that door right now. And I will be sitting with them tonight. And I will be finding out what call to action we need to take. And I will be putting that on every platform that I have influence over. And we're going to need every single person that has compassion and empathy and understanding for fellow human beings in their heart to help us help this family right this wrong. It is well fucking past time to bring Lakeith home. And what happened today in the courtroom here in Montgomery, Alabama is a fucking disgrace and a spit in the face to anything you could ever call justice. In addition, felony murder has no place in a fucking civil society to begin with. And if you don't know what felony murder is, look it up. If you thought we were stopping, you're wrong. Justice for Lakeith Smith. You know, there are some things you see and you ask yourself, I mean, there are some things I don't even know where to start talking about, what to even do because I am like, you know, confused and I am in shock. I do not even like, I am trying to put myself together to talk about this. Um, God, this is beyond painful. And yeah, being in prison for American, it's like, you know, it's profitable. Someone really needs to look into this. I am saying the truth. And I am so happy that some people are still, because I see a lot of people stitching to this video. I do not want to like, you know, make this video so long. People are stitching, people are doing, people are looking for a way they can help out to get this boy back. God, 15 years old, what was his problem? What did he do? What, what sin did he commit? What did he do? I 
personally feel like, yo, it's because of the color of his skin. A whole 30, three decades, 30 years, a 15 year old person. God, really, I am, I don't know. And that judge, I am, really, I almost swear, I want to support that. I don't want to use that kind of word here, but free, they should free this boy immediately. They should free this boy immediately and people should. I think I have to post this on my main channel. Yes, gather all the stitches up because like, you know, and this really needs to be, there is need for this thing to be out there. So people will see people that have like, you know, social media, uh, social media, it like if you have great numbers on your social media, people should come out to talk. People should not relax on this because this boy got to go back home to his family. This is, yeah, this is very important. He got to go back. And I am so proud of this man that is fighting to the nail, like he's looking for a way to like, you know, uh, get people together and uh, look for a way to like, you know, see what they can do about it. But man, this is so sad. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.